Yorkshire Ripper Peter Sutcliffe will spend the rest of his life behind bars. A ruling at the High Court found that he was not suitable for early release. Richard McCann's mother was one of the Ripper's victims and he says he's not surprised by the court's decision. Yeah, it has been hanging over me. I mean, I wouldn't say that for 30 years or 35 years I've been thinking about, oh, when's he going to get out? But oh, I think over the last two years or so, and especially leading up to this, uh, up to today, I've been worrying. But if I'm honest with you, in my heart of hearts, he wasn't going to get out. And I think just today was a formality. And I'm just so glad that we got the judgment that we so rightly deserve. Sutcliffe was convicted in 1981 for the murder of 13 women and the attempted murder of seven others in Yorkshire and Greater Manchester. The latest court hearing heard that Jehovah's Witnesses who have befriended him say he shows remorse for his crimes, but Mr McCann doesn't agree. I wrote to him just for some closure, gave him the opportunity via his doctor and uh, he, never, he never wrote back to me. So as far as them accepting that they, they believe that he's showed remorse, well it's wrong because he hasn't. If he was remorseful, if it was me and I'd committed such a crime and I, was, and I felt remorseful, I'd want to do everything that I could to let the families know that, listen, I'm really sorry for what I did and, you know, I have given that opportunity and he hasn't done anything about it, so, no. Sutcliffe is currently being held in top security psychiatric hospital Broadmoor after being transferred from prison in 1984, suffering from paranoid schizophrenia.